everybody. It's Mary from the Paper Parrot and I'm going to show you how to make this Father's Day card. It's a little card. I used the Tim Holtz gear die. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my bird Lucy. She's barking like a dog. Um, anyways, um, little card that I made using the gears and some chain. Uh, and then the inside has the date, and um, so we'll show you how to make that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the card base, and I chose just a, um, a craft colored card, and it measures four by five and a half. And this was actually a pre-made card that I got from the Hobby Lobby. So, um, so again, it's four by five and a half. And on this one, I used um, kind of a green-colored mat, and it was from the Paper Collection Tattered Times, I think. Um, but on this one, I thought I would use this kind of rust-colored with embossed gears on it. That was really pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my uh, edge distressor and just kind of run it along the edge here. Let me see. Shh, shh, shh. Being noisy. Just kind of rough up those edges. And of course, if you don't like that look, you know, it would look just fine uh, without distressing the edges. Mm. Now she's sounding like a squeaky door. So there's my distressed edges, and I think I'm going to use some um, Tim Holtz Distress inks. I think I'll use Vintage Photo. Uh, let me find my little anchor pad here. And I'm just going to ink up my edges here. And you can just do the edges like this, um, which I probably will a little bit, but I also like the ink to sometimes come up over the edge of the paper. But this has a lot of white where I distressed it, so I think I'm going to do it this way. This vintage photo must be my favorite color. I think I'm starting to get a little bit low on it. I need to get another one. Okay. Kind of crumbly there. So there's that. And then I used, I cut these out with um, the Tim Holtz die cutter again and it cut out three and I cut them on just cream colored cardstock and then I ran them through my cuddle bug and made it this like embossed look and um, and then after I inked them they they look like this so they kind of look like rusty rusty gears or at least that was my my intention so okay so what I did is I actually took all of my different colored distress inks and um, you know just kind of played with it until I got the color that I wanted oh 
Okay. So let's see here. I think I'll start out with this color here. And I just kind of go around and distress a little bit. I'll just do all three of them. I like this side better. It's raised. The other side was the depressed side. Okay, so that's the vintage photo. Now I think what I'm going to do is a little bit of the barn door red and just kind of um, put a little bit here and there. It's kind of just uh, Larry process. Okay, now I'm going to do the tea dye. Lucy, what are you saying? a little bit red. So I think I'm going to change my pad here and use a little bit of the, let's see, I think it's just black soot. When you you know kind of like the color that you're trying to achieve so that's with the black soot kind of like that over oh, the red it makes it look a little bit more rusty Here, just a sec I'm gonna give Lucy something to play with hold on. here Lucy play with your paper. Okay. Put on some of this crushed olive green. Let's see what that is. that and I think I'm gonna go back to this dis um, vintage photo I just love the vintage photo it definitely gives it that kind of rusty look there we go You know, you could also make this into a, maybe not embossed, but make it into like a, a captain's or a ship's wheel for a, a different idea. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to put the lids back on most of these so they don't dry out. Okay, and the other thing I have... Silver and some gold. I think I might just my gold. I think is about wore out, but let's kind of add a little bit of that. Some silver. 
definitely just kind of brings out the, the highlights. Makes it look metally. There. That. And if you want it even a little darker, I have this color box um, brown. It's pretty dark, so you could even kind of go over that. It's just more pigmented than the distressed dye. So, you know, just play with whatever inks you have available and um, we'll see what you like. And the other thing I did is I took my stays on and just kind of went around the edges just to give them a little bit more definition. Like when it's up against the, the card base or the mat base. Otherwise, I just kind of felt like it kind of blended in a little too much, so like that. Whoops, I meant that one. Okay, this the last one here. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Came a long way from that color. Pretty neat what you can do with the inks. Okay, so now I'm going to do here. I made a mess there, didn't I? Maybe I'll grab a piece of card stuff. Cover up my mess there. Okay, so back to this, and I just, I put the big one and the medium size on, and then I use this little one on the inside. So, not a, a lot of contrast on this color paper, not as much as the, the green, but I still think it'll be okay. And then I had this corrugated cardboard, and just gonna put it in the corner somewhere and I, I want it kind of distressed looking so I'm just gonna rip it. Maybe. Give it a rougher edge. And I don't think I can rip that real well so I think I'll just use my distressor here. I think Lucy's finally quiet. She's got a piece of paper to shred. She loves to make confetti. It's her favorite thing. Piles of confetti. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this again just so I use my silver and just kind of rub it over. I just I put the big one and the medium size on and then I use this little one on the inside. So not a, a lot of contrast on this color paper, not as much as the, the green, but I still think it'll be okay. And then I had this corrugated cardboard and just gonna put it in the corner somewhere and I, I want it kind of distressed looking, so I'm just gonna rip it. Maybe. Give it a rougher edge. And I don't think I can rip that real well, so I think I'll just use my distressor here. I think Lucy's finally quiet. She's got a piece of paper to shred. She 
She loves to make confetti. It's her favorite thing. Piles of confetti. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this again just so I use my silver and just kind of rub it over this to make it look a little bit aged, silvery. And also, can I go over my rough edge here? your tape gun um, or whatever you would like to use. I'm actually going to use glue because some of these pieces are just so big and chunky that I think the glue actually seems to work the best. So, I'm just going to put some glue on my pieces here. And put it on your And um, we'll just glue our gears on. I think actually I'm not going to glue them on quite yet because if I remember right, I had the... Shh, 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 shh. This is the, the little card I use for the sentiment. And I just bought these in a package from Joann's. So, but it's very, you know, crisp and clean. So I think I'm going to distress this a little bit. So again, I'm going to take my vintage photo. Oops, hello. That was the black. I think I'll start over. Okay. Let's try that again. And I just, I kind of want a little bit more of a halo effect, so I'm just coming from the edges and uh, just gently rubbing it so it's lighter on the inside where I'm going to put the sentiment. And you know that looks pretty good. You could just stop there and it would be just fine. But I actually, I kind of like it. Um, get another one of my pads here. With a little bit of red. I think the red just gives it a little bit of kind of an aged look and just kind of here and there. You know, don't do it all over. And then I also think I like a little bit of the, the green. And the green, it, it really does kind of come across as more of a, almost like an aged kind of yellow. Just kind of blend that. So. I just like that look, but like I said, you could stop back at the vintage photo and it would be just perfect. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna, what I did is I'm gonna use my stays on, and I just want the edges to. You can leave them brown, which I think is really nice, but I just wanted them to stand out just a little bit more against the kind of brownie red cardstock. So I think I'll just go around them in black. And that hole, um, you could poke a hole in this other side and you could put some ribbon or twine, something through there, or you can just put it through there and tie a loop on it. 
Um, but what I chose to do was um, put these little rivets over the hole and then add them to that side. So we'll do that. Um, but we'll stamp our sentiment, which is I have right here. Just says Happy Father's Day. Okay, so and you could put it wherever you'd like. I'm just gonna try to center it right here. Okay. Hey goose! Shh, shh, shh. Where's your paper? Did you drop it? Do you want another one? Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> There's these little guys. Which I'll be honest, I can't quite figure these out. If they're just sticky or if you have to peel this off. Let's see here. Cutting these little tabs off the edge here. Okay. So there's my little sentiment. And here's my card base. And again, you can um, put this glue this down with a tape. I am just choosing to use glue. So I just put a little glue around there. And you, your wheel or your gear can hang off just a hair off the side if, if you'd like because um, this mat is a little bit smaller than your background or your card base so it'll be okay. Okay so there's that and let's see here I want that kind of and this can also hang off just a little tiny bit like that if you'd like. And I wanted this wheel or gear to kind of go off like that. Okay, so glue this down. <laughs> I almost glued it on upside down. That wouldn't have been too good. A little bit of the glue oozes out it wipes away really easily and also it dries clear so oh that's the point of the card I thought Just give it a little bit more metally look. I just use these brads. So before you put your card, this mat on your card, you'll want to take a sharp. You can even use your scissors and just poke a little hole in the center of your gear and another one here. 
that. And then I bought this little, well actually it was a long thing, a chain. I just broke it up into some pieces and I put it on the brad like that. And then let's put it through the hole. And you can either um, put it right at the very end like that. I chose to put it about right there and then have a little bit dangling down. But it's up to you. So just put your brad through wherever you'd like it. And then go through the hole. And turn it over and then just secure your brad. So there's that. That part's done. Pretty darn easy. And then here's your card base. And turn that over. Hi, hey, Sparky. Now my dog's here to say hello. Maybe I'll just add some more glue for the heck of it. Okay. Make sure we got it going the right way. And I just try to eyeball it, center it, and press that down. The nice thing about glue that I like is that it's position repositionable. So if I put it somewhere that I just really didn't um, want it, I can slide it around for a little bit until I get it where I like it. Okay, so there's your card. I think it's super cute. And here's the the green. And this one also has some square little brads. That, and this one has the round ones. Super cute. Okay, so sorry about that. My son just came down to tell me he was going outside and my husband then decided to use the treadmill and my dog started barking. It's always something, huh? Okay, so to do the inside, I, you know, however you choose to, I just distress the edges, use a little piece of the corrugated cardboard and the gear, and then I use this fun little stamp and stamp down here, and this is Sunday, June 16th is uh, Father's Day. So, looks like I need a little more glue in this corner. Maybe not that much glue. So, to do the inside, we'll just take our little stressing tool and go around the edges again. this little tool I do find it a little bit awkward now she's acting like a microwave Like. I just want it to look kind of aged. It's 
something like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of green. I like the green on it. I think the green adds a lot of depth. and Something like that. Okay. And then... Here's my stamp. These things always make me a touch nervous. I always feel like I'm going to mess up. And I'm actually using the distressed the distress ink. So there you go. I got a little mess up right there, but it's supposed to look, uh, you know, vintagey, just a little bit messy. So I like that. And this one, I don't think I'm gonna put the gear on. I think I'll just put that in here. And this one, I think I'm gonna just tape on. That it could be a little bit more. Well, should have went that way a little more, but it'll be okay. So there's your card, the outside, Happy Father's Day, and the inside. And here's the the green version too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you try making one. I think they're they're really cute. So have a great evening. Bye.